a Hasidic Jew all have in common. I don't know either. But the next person coming to the stage is going to be a stand up Too. And then just watch her face. She'd be like, 
And then, if that's too mean, you go ahead and take it out for a nice dinner. And when you order your appetizer french fries, make sure you get two different kinds. Get those delightful little In-N-Out ones, and then those big wavy ones you get at like Costco for a barbecue. And then, just wait, wait it out for a minute and watch her, and she'll reach out to grab that big one, and then you just throw her one of these. Oh. <laughs> Someone looks hungry. And then she'll respond, what? No, no, I just wanted to feel how big it was. What? That's what she said. Take <laughs> time and she'll reach out for the little one. And she'll take a bite. And that's delicious. I'm stuffed. And then make sure you have to say something nice, otherwise the treatment doesn't work. And even if you do, this is how it will play out. You say something nice like, Baby, it's okay to eat food. Believe it or not, I like it too. And she'll say, You just don't understand. I'm just getting what, my little french fry eating muffin? What? Muffin? Never mind. What were you going to say? It's just that I want to fit into a size zero so bad. Baby? A size one isn't that far off. You don't understand it was one chair, and I'm off my period, it's my time of month, so I'm bloating. Oh, your time of the month, thank goodness, I just thought you were crazy. I was glad we cleared that up. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, which it should, but it did it for me, so I cream up with a fallback plan. We take her out for a romantic getaway. I took mine to the Hilton. And we walked through the lobby until we found a bathroom with a vacant stall. And, uh, now, I have to warn you, this is my first time with a woman. I only, with, this is my first time. And, uh, I'll, I'll check that joke when I'm done. This is my first time, and it's my first time in a stall. So, I have to warn you, what you're about to hear is based on actual events. Do try this at home. So, I remember, I was feeling really nervous, and I remember I had an orange flavored condom from the day previous. And uh, you know that thing when you're really nervous and, and don't really know what to say? Uh, all the blood was rushing to the wrong head for me to think with. So, I just kind of, uh, I yelled out there and was like, hey, anybody hungry for some vitamin C? And she laughed. I cried. <laughs> And uh, I've never felt 
as bad about myself as I felt in that moment. So I told her, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll take you shopping. I'll buy you a new pair. She was like, no, no, it's okay. And by the way, girls are such sweethearts when they care about someone. So much better than guys. She's like, it's okay. I'll get a new pair of favorite pants. I was like, you will. I'll buy it. You can even, you can even take your friends. I don't mind being seen with all you guys. So then, <laughs> imagine my horror when we go shopping for the jeans and I find a little condom stand just staring at me. And it was at that moment that I realized I would never touch, think about, ponder, or taste these things ever again. <laughs> and as I went to put it down, her friend casually and slowly walks by me and says, yeah, if I was him, I'd put that size back too. <laughs>